Hello guys we're back to update you on all the news that happen in Arsenal. And today we came to bring another update on Michael Omudrik's departure to Arsenal. See until the end. Michael Omudrik is one of the most coveted young players in the January transfer window, with both Arsenal and Chelsea planning moves to sign the winger. The Gunners made their first bid to sign Mudrick less than a week before the January transfer window opened, according to Football.London. Arsenal have been watching the winger for some time, while Mikel Arteta looks to bolster the North London side's front line. The Gunners are said to have submitted an official bid in the region of £55 million, including additional. But Arsenal's offer falls short of the £80 million asking price set by the Ukrainian side. Hey fan don't forget to like M. North Londoners reportedly face competition from rivals Chelsea for Mudrick, with Todd Bowley keen to bolster Graham Potter's strike force. The Blues have been much appreciated by the likes of AC Milan star Rafael Leo and RB Leipzig talisman Christopher Nkunku, the latter of whom looks set to arrive at Stamford Bridge in the summer. With Arsenal and Chelsea both looking for an advantage in the race to sign the Ukraine international, Fulham star Willian had an intriguing tip. In a photo posted to the Brazilian's Instagram story, the former gunner and blues midfielder revealed that he enjoyed chatting with Shakhtar Donetsk boss Srna and Eduardo. Willian, Srna and Eduardo were teammates at Shakhtar Donetsk, where they enjoyed great success with each other, including several Ukrainian Premier League titles, a couple of Ukrainian Cups and a Ukrainian Super Cup. It remains to be seen whether Mudrik's future has been a topic of conversation amid interest from Arsenal and Chelsea. Earlier, Shakhtar chief executive Sergei Palkin stated that he was not sure whether Mudrik would leave in January. He said, to be honest, I don't know. At the moment we are a long way from what we want and what the clubs propose. What do you think? Came to London to try a negotiation? Stay tuned to our channel to follow more news.